Hi guys, welcome to my first hair tutorial video. I took a poll on my Instagram to see if like this is something that you guys would be interested in and I got an overwhelming amount of support. So welcome to my first one. Um, today I'm gonna be doing a She-Hulk inspired hair look to go with my makeup look this week. She-Hulk typically has really loose, wavy hair. Um, mine's more beachy, I guess. Beachy hair. Um, this is my hair, naturally dried. So I'm gonna show you the steps I take to prep it, uh, unfortunately my hair is already dry, but I just dry it naturally anyways. So I'll be showing you the steps I take to prep it along with how I curl it. And um, I also do use a straightening iron in this process. Um, I also get a lot of comments on other hairstyles that I've done and other types of curls that I put in my hair. So adding those probably along the way if I get a good response from this one. So anyways, let's start. So the first product I use is Not Your Mother's. Um, it's a 10-in-1 hair protector. Uh, sometimes I put it in when my hair is wet, sometimes I put it in when my hair is dry. It just depends on whether or not I cared enough to put it in while it was wet. So I didn't put it in while it was wet, so I'm going to suction my hair real quick using these banana clips from um, Suavecito, and then we'll get to spraying. I spray my hair I like to start at the ends and just kind of brush upwards okay. when I finish spraying and kind of moving it around with my fingers I take a brush again and I like to brush it out it tends to dry the spray pretty relatively quick but I really like it. it it really does kind of help with damage and I have pretty frizzy hair so it helps with that also okay so now that it's all brushed out I'm gonna go one more time and I'm gonna resection it so I can start curling it sectioned it into nice tight sections. I pull out a little bit more from my back because the back of my head tends to be thicker. So I'm going to be using this curling iron, which is about an inch and a half. And I'm going to be taking small sections, kind of about this big, and I'm going to be running it through once to kind of get all the frizz out of my hair because like I said, my hair tends to be pretty frizzy. I'm going to run it all the way. Normally I would leave a tail out because I like my waves to be beachier, but her hair is very comic booky, so it's very uniform. There is no like, like the texture to it. So I want it to all be kind of like one wave. And that means that, you know, and you want it to stay pretty tight. So while they're warm, don't touch them because otherwise your curl will fall. Um, I'm pretty lucky because my hair holds a curl really well so I don't have to add any like extra hairspray to my hair or anything else. So let me just get this side done really fast. Oh, and I am curling away from my face because I want the curls to frame my face and I'm gonna do something fun with my bangs like She-Hulk. So I'm probably gonna finish curling this side, and then when I get to my bangs, I'll get back and give you guys more instructions. So I know it's falling a little bit, but I wanted that. I wasn't holding the heat in my hair for super long because I want it to be more loose. Her hair is like straight with a wave, and so when we get to the end, that's what this product is gonna look like, but for now, it just looks a little bit fallen, and I have this whole situation from bang grow out, but It'll look good at the end, I promise. And I'm gonna turn around and show you the back so you can see that the curls are all the way around. And just try not to jostle your hair as much as I am because it will make your curls fall. So here's the back. I don't even know if you can see it. I will in editing. Okay, so let's start with the top. So She-Hulk has this really cool, like, swoopity swoop. Like, you know, the classic superhero. So in order to get that, I'm going to make it a little less heavy on this one side. 
I'm gonna do that by taking this part and kind of going like that. And that'll leave me kind of less hair on the side and it'll make it less heavy. So I'm gonna take these bangs, I'm gonna leave them out to work with and I'm just gonna curl this part real quick. All right, so we've got all of my hair curled except for this little swoop that we're gonna work with. So in order to do this, I, you guessed it, section it again. And I'm gonna work with this little piece right here. And I'm gonna take this regular straightening iron and I'm just gonna start at the root and I'm just gonna kind of curl it as I go through. And that's gonna have it swooping over my bangs and it's also gonna make it less frizzy. I'll probably do it one more time just to get to the end, start pulling it into a curl. And as you can see, it's beautiful. So now I'm going to do it again with this section, but this time I'm going to kind of start curling it sort of early, just like that. Don't mind the faces. Uh, hair doesn't curl unless you make faces. Okay, so now we can see I have this beautiful superhero swoop. And to kind of blend it, I like to just take it one more time. Bow. I don't know why I said that. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna let my hair cool and not be so warm to the touch. Let the curls set as much as they can since some of them are falling. And then I'll show you what I do last. We're back. Okay. We're back and you need a wide tooth comb, kind of like this one. This one is a wet comb, a wet comb. It's a wet comb and all I do is now drag this comb through it. What this does is it gets rid of the clumping, which is what you need for curls. You need like little clumps and I just brush out all my hard work, approximately 30 minutes of hard work. And I just go through. And I see what I like and what I don't like. And maybe I can go back and edit some of the curls. I am really digging the way the curls are falling on this side. Not so much on this side, which just means maybe I just need a couple individual curls. It's really... good. So it looks like this in the back and we turn to the front where you have superhero powers. Okay so as you can see I am looking very superhero-y. My hair is one dimensional meaning there's not a lot of texture to it just like in a comic book. Um, it's very like wavy but like you can tell I can totally fight crime. Like, obviously. I feel really good about how it turned out. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the back, even though I can't see it, which is very upsetting because if it looks bad while I'm editing, <laughs> that's probably gonna upset me. So I'm gonna turn. Please tell me it looks all right. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I don't put a lot of product in my hair. My hair does tend to hold curls naturally and strongly. So if your hair isn't like that, this probably isn't the right tutorial for you. So um, have a great day, guys. See you next time.